in this demonstration, we'll be creating this 3D crest using Artcam Jewelsmith 2008. Now to create this crest, we will be working from one of the two modeling ways available in Artcam Jewelsmith 2008. Two ways of working are the first one is working with bitmap layers. Now this is, and bitmap images is the way we're going to be working for this demonstration. And the second way is working using vectors. So actually tracing or creating vectors yourself within Artcam Jewelsmith. Now, as I said, I'm going to be working from this bitmap layer. So working from any image within Jewelsmith, I'm going to be defining shapes and heights to this model. So if I come across to my 3D view, and this is where I'll start to model and add height to those shapes. Now, new in 2008 is the ability to actually model within the 3D view. So if I double click on a color, so we'll start with this black, and see here, it allows me to add a height and an angle and an actual shape to this model. Now, it's just gonna add this height and shape, and we can view this better when I turn my color shade button off. But we'll be able to see the process with it on. Now, that's just doing the black, so if I just work my way through the colors quite slowly, just double click on the colors, assign an actual start height or a shape to these, we'll start to add different heights to my actual crest itself. So we can see that the red is slightly higher than the rest of the model. So now I'm going to work my way through. I'll go with the blue and add a height to this. So raising the blue section up, I'll do this yellow next. So I'm just adding the four corners in before we add any of the detail in. So we can see exactly what we've done here. If I just close this down so we can see this better, we've actually raised up all of the crest by a certain height. If I just finish this off so we can see exactly what it looks like, just go through the yellow, add a, a height with a dome on, so we'll go slightly higher. And we'll see that the actual lions and the harp have had a height added to them. Now I've only got a few colors left to add some height to. So I've got this paler color here, the black for the lion for around the mouth and the actual red for the border and the lion in the top section. So I just zoom in just so I can get to this black here. I'm going to add some height to this and then just finish this crest off. Now say this functionality for modeling within the 3D view is new for Artcam Jewelsmith 2008. It makes it much simpler when you've actually bought in a nice image from, for instance, a website. So you've just dragged them straight off a website. You've actually created the image yourself. You can now model everything in the 3D view and see exactly what it looks like. So if I just turn the background off there, we can see how quickly I've created my nice simple crest by using bitmap layers. If I just hide the color shade button, we can actually see the quality of which it's modeled to. So I've got quite a nice finish on this. If we just turn this back on and see, we now have the representation of our finished equivalent of a fully painted uh, 3D sign within Artcam Jewelsmith 2008. Now this crest could be saved out for later use to be wrapped on the top of a ring for instance or as a pendant or again used on a sign. It could be used for a whole variety of different things. Now from this demonstration we've seen how quickly and precisely you can create nice 3D images using bitmaps within Artcam Jewelsmith 2008.